back with another video, Roar Van Heiden. And today we bought the M20 Pro off of Wish. It was about 75 bucks, 18 of which was shipping, and the item itself was like 60, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Well, based on what I'm seeing, this phone is almost used. Let's see what else we got with it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely used. The fact that the bag's open. They usually come shut before I get them. Use the manual. Okay. I can assure you that is not a US adapter like I ordered. Oh well. And what's this? Okay, well you can definitely tell this item was drop shipped by the fact that they did not even bother putting the stickers on the outside of the box. Let's see if the phone even works. It's turning on. That does not look like an Android 8. It's also taking quite some time with the given specs of the phone. Yep, that is not Android 8. Not even close. That is like Android 5, maybe 4. Well, that's a scam. Just rumble. Indicating it's probably preloaded Android. Okay, well, it's definitely used. Considering the fact that I didn't even have to set up the phone. It just came pre-set up. To work my fingerprint? Oh, it does. Well, let me try something. Let's try my fist. No, does that not work? It does, what the heck? Okay, look. That is not a fingerprint, how does that even work? Alright, let's see what else it has on it. Oh, there's definitely some latency there. I don't think if you guys can see it. It's lagging out occasionally. I think it has face lock. I'm doubtful it does. Just takes me to settings. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a fake or not. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use DevCheck, which is a free application on Play Store, which basically allows you to see every little specification of your phone. So you can already tell it's only two core because it only shows two 1300 megahertz, indicating that it only has two cores that can go up to 1300 megahertz. Well, the screen is glitching, so it doesn't have much graphics performance. Only 500 megabytes of RAM, 1.2 gigabytes of storage. Listing stated at 32, so that's a complete scam. Okay, so the processor's frequency is not that bad. It's only DDR2 with 266 megahertz refresh rate. That's horrible. When the screen's glitching out. Battery capability is not indicated. Camera's only 3.7 megapixels on the back instead of 13, and only 0.9 instead of 5 megapixels. Here are some of the sensors, and that's it. So these are some of the images I took. My raised phone's the one on the left, and the M20 Pro, which is the one I bought, is on the right. You can tell that the ones on the left look much better than on the right. It's in 4K, so if your screen doesn't support 4K, you can't see the full resolution. So here I'm going to expose the camera on the back as it indicated in the images that it has four cameras. But when you open it up, hold on, I'm struggling to open it. There's some way, oh there we go. Okay, so when you open it up, look there's only one camera right there, one camera. Well the case shows four, the bottom two as you can see are just fakes built into the case. After exposing this phone, wouldn't even consider it a phone honestly, just a piece of trash, I contacted Wish and they told me you'll get a refund. But according to their policy, it says if you expose an item, firstly it will be removed, secondly the seller can get a $500 charge, and thirdly his account can, or his, her account can be suspended. But the listing's still up. Why is this? I've wrote a long article explaining why this is a scam in item's description. Now literally nothing matches the specs and then this is literally like a $10 phone. You have to keep the listing out. Why does Wish all of a sudden support scams? Even though the 
So that clearly forbid you from selling it. And if so, why? The like you get down to the bottom of this, just leave a comment in the description. If you have any suspicious items you want me to like review, just leave a link and I'll get to them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, because I sure have. Exposing a little thin old phone.